Thanks for pressing play on another Pay Me No Mind sports and entertainment video. My name is Wood. Gonna jump into a little mix of uh, entertainment and boxing with Bite Down Boxing. Uh, check me out over at www.bitedownboxing.com. Uh, <clears throat> boxing is back on next weekend. Big card coming up on Showtime uh, with the Angelo Leo uh, WBO Super Bantamweight title defense against Cool Boy Steph. Stephen Fulton out of Philadelphia, PA. Uh, but with, uh, with 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 boxing, Clarissa Shields. Happy New Year, Queen. If I could, you know, if I if you were to tune on to this, because somebody is talking about it. But I saw the Instagram, her Instagram the other day with her and her promoter Dimitri Salita, and it was something about. You know, she was just complaining about that the networks are sexist and, you know, there's not a lot of interest or investment in women's boxing in America. I mean, let's let's keep it a C note. There are a lot of uh, sexist sentiments that are regularly shared by boxing fans and online. Um, we got a whole lot of white cats who... Uh, liking Clarissa to a male, a man, and, and her looks and whatnot, which is corny to me. But then on the other hand, we have some brothers who find uh, Clarissa attractive or talk about you know her physically. And then we just have another group of brothers out there who just really don't care about uh, women's boxing. And I think if someone says that they're not interested in, in women's boxing and not interested in seeing women fight, that's not necessarily sexist to me. It might be old school or unfortunate or behind the times or whatever. But as long as they're not talking about you shouldn't be able to fight or they're not encouraging others to turn that trash off, just because somebody says they don't, that's, that's their preference, that's not the worst thing in the world, in my opinion. Um, but one thing that she said in there that was key and kind of proves the point is she said that what we need to do or what we should do is try to do our own pay-per-view, a really great adult pay-per-view, and you know that's what we should that's what we should do. That's the solution. And it's like, right, go do that. Like you're sitting here not wanting and, and the people that she would talk to to get that funded, they're gonna have the same reservations and the same reluctance to invest the money in that and take that risk on if people wouldn't buy it or don't buy it. So similarly, what you're hearing now from the networks, or specifically could be Showtime, like right now during the pandemic, their numbers aren't great for their regular boxing. A couple of their events were on pay-per-view, but they didn't, they weren't even cracking 200,000, uh, you know, with viewer numbers and whatnot. So I could see them being a little uh, hesitant or just really not wanting to have that conversation right now. Even though some of her numbers of uh, the, the Hannah Gabriels fight did really well in comparison to maybe a Charlo fight or something. I wrote an article about it back in the day. But again, you know, if you don't want to take that risk, if you and others don't want to take that risk, if Dimitri Salida doesn't want to take that risk, then that's the same thing that the network is saying. We don't, we just don't want to take that risk right now. And that's that's unfortunate, but that just might be, you know, that it might be valid right now. Um, with that said, though, I'd like to see them do one thing that they did with um, Showtime. Speaking of Showtime and the entertainment note, one thing that could be pretty interesting, I don't know whether it generates any, it moves the needle for the Clarissa Shields business and whatnot, but I think it would be fun. And since the Flint strong movie with uh, Ice Cube and the girl from uh, Black Lightning, I believe. With that being out there, I don't know what the status is, of that is, but with her being kind of tied to entertainment, the documentary that was out there before, Showtime, I mean, uh, CBS just ran a trailer for their new Equalizer show where Queen Latifah will be playing Robin McCall instead of Robert McCall, I believe, is the, the original character. And then the, the name of uh, the character that we saw in the two movies with Denzel Washington, 
Denzel Washington, the major motion picture movies. But um, the same way that they had Deontay Wilder, Showtime had Deontay Wilder on Billions, to me it would be dope if they could work in a cameo or a recurring character with um, with Clarissa Shields and you know in some scenes with with um, with with Queen Latifah. They show Lat- Latifah in the gym, you know, getting sharpening up and and hitting the heavy bag and working out, you know, on her hand to hand combat and whatnot. It'd be dope if they could throw Clarissa Shields in there and just do something with that. Uh, I don't know if it'll happen. You know, I, I don't. I don't know where. Um, you know where Showtime is with 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 CBS and who would be putting that together. You know, uh, Stephen Espinosa or whatnot. Or you know, I don't know if they have long term or short term plans for her right now, where there would be any. You know, major uh, impetus for lack of a better word, but to reach out and have that conversation. And, and make that happen. But I think that could be some good, uh, you know, some, some good FaceTime or some good exposure for Clarissa. You know, they could have her as her trainer, you know, and just show up in a couple of episodes and, you know, have a couple of lines and whatnot and, 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 and help with the exposure and the visibility and whatnot. I think they should explore that. Anyway, um, It's tough, man. Like I said, I, I understand what she's saying. I just don't know if right. And the other, the last thing that they announced on there before I get on off of here was the fact that they mentioned uh, Dimitri Salida was on, joined her on the live and said that an announcement could be forthcoming. So, you know, maybe in the next, you know, week to three weeks or something, maybe they get something together. I know the, the undisputed or unification fight with Marie Eve Dicare was on the books, was on the schedule last year when the pandemic shut everything down. And then the thing that was being explored was Zufa boxing and Dana White or whatever when that fell apart. You know, maybe something is in the works and, and we'll see what happens. But again, hit up, uh, you know, hit up Dana, Queen Latifah on Instagram and see if you can get, hold the bag for her and, you know, Spray some, you know, squeeze some water in her mouth or, you know, have some some slick character with a couple of catchy lines or something. Anyway, best of luck to you, man. Bite down boxing. Don't let them count you out. Check me out over on um, now on Apple Podcasts. It's always personal. My audio only podcast over there talking about much more than just uh, than just boxing and just entertainment. Pay me no mind sports and entertainment. You don't have to be great to start, but you have to start to be great.